Hello guys, it's Bella and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me. I am going to be doing my go-to long lasting makeup look. Just the makeup that I do all the time whenever I have to wear makeup basically. Yeah, that's... I swear to you guys, this makeup, I have worn it multiple occasions for 12 hours and by the end of the 12 hours, it looks like I literally had just put it on. Like it's crazy, especially for me because my my face hates makeup. Like makeup starts to look gross on me after like pretty much as soon as I finish doing my makeup, it starts to look gross. Okay, first thing is first. Look at these earrings I got. The little capsicums, holy shit. I don't know where my little hair clip's gone. What do you mean? Okay, first things first is brows. I always use my Kevin Aquant The Precision Brow Pencil. This one is in the shade Dark Brunette. It's amazing. Amazing. My couch gets delivered in like an hour. <laughs> I'm so excited. So I just kind of drew a line at the bottom. I really hope the delivery guys don't put a hole in my wall because the delivery guys, every time I get something delivered or when I like moved in, every single delivery guy that's been here and had to take something upstairs has put a hole in my wall. I just can't understand. So then I just, you know, fill in the top. I don't change the shape of my brow or anything. And then I just fill it in. It's that simple. Then, once the eyebrows are done, I'm going to move on to primer. This is the Kevin Aquan The Sensual Skin Primer. It is amazing. I'm almost out though, so I need to go buy some more. God, I want to move. There's construction going on behind my house. So, like, I always have to, like, I'll be mid-sentence and then I just got to stop and wait for them to stop banging. It's fine. When I was in Melbourne, I was shaking this. So, I had foundation everywhere in the hotel and I could not understand why and then I realized it's because I was shaking this without the lid on. <laughs> this is the Laura Mercier Smooth Finish Flawless Fluid Foundation in the shade Buff and I'm so sad because they've stopped selling this in Australia. Someone told me they were going to so I was like shit I gotta buy three. Went online to buy them. They've already stopped! <laughs> So I can't get any more and this foundation is literally my life. It's little Bo's birthday tomorrow. I'm so excited. He turns two. I can't believe he's already two. Like he's, it feels like I've had him for like a week. I'm so sad. I don't want him to grow up. <laughs> I knew his birthday was in May. I just didn't know when in May, mom told me. And I went and like, she only told me yesterday. She's like, shit, turns out Bo's birthday's on, um, Wednesday and I was like oh my god okay that's fine because I already bought like a make your own dog cake <laughs> from the pet store and I bought like birthday boy t-shirt birthday boy hat and birthday boy little bandana for him <laughs> oh I seriously go all out for my dog's birthdays because they deserve it they don't even they probably don't even know that it's like their birthday but like you know <laughs> They deserve it. I wanted to get him a cake made like I got made for Mia's. But then mum was like, his birthday's in two days. I was like, all right, <laughs> it's fine. I've been so sick, <laughs> so sick lately. I'm still getting over it. So like I'm all congested and I'm over it. And my skin's shit. <laughs> Let's keep on keeping on, you know what I mean? No, I never meant to let you down. Let you How good is Post Malone's new album? <laughs> So for concealer, I'm going to be using the Becca Aqua Luminous Concealer. This one is in the shade Medium. I swear to God, if one more plane flies over my house, oh my God. That was way too much concealer. Why did I do that? So I know I've said this like a million times, but I feel like, you know, I'm putting it out to the universe now, so it's going to happen. And I'm vlogging the process now, so I feel like it's going to happen because um, when I actually spoke about my anxiety in a video... I actually found that it helped me so much and it's been like pushing me to like try and leave the house by myself occasionally um and so I really want to lose weight and get fit and get healthy 
so I'm um, you know going on a fitness journey <laughs> trying to get to my goal and um, I signed up at the gym on Saturday it's, it's Tuesday now I still haven't gone <laughs> um, but that's because I, I didn't I actually um, didn't have any running shoes until today they got delivered this morning because I spilled freaking pink nail polish all over them so I had to throw them out it's so sad um, I'm vlogging the whole process. I've started vlogging already the process, which that should be up really soon. My first, like, you know, fitness journey vlog. I got rid of all of my... But in the vlog, and I'm going to ask here as well, just because why not? If you have any tips... The reason I haven't gone to the gym yet is actually because that vlog hasn't gone up. Because I don't know what to do at the gym. I have no idea, like, what workouts to do. When you look online, everything contradicts everything when it comes to healthy eating. So I'm literally so lost. I have no idea what to do. Like, some people are like, yeah, you can eat sweet potato. Other people are like, no, you can't eat sweet potato. So, like, <laughs> I don't know. I honestly have no idea. I bought all these, like, little boxes to, like, not boxes, like, Tupperware so that I could meal prep. But <laughs> I don't know what the fuck to meal prep. I saw one girl was doing, like, a fitness thing online. I've been watching, like, what I eat in a day videos. And, um... She meal preps her rice, but I didn't think you could eat white rice, so I don't know, like I'm so confused. But I'm going in with powder now. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in Medium. Um, but yeah, I just feel like vlogging it is going to help motivate me. Hopefully it will help motivate some of you guys as well if you're wanting to work out. Maybe we can, you know, do it together. And um, I don't know if a lot of you guys know this, I have spoken about it in videos before, but... The reason I actually gained all the weight is because I got the bar in my arm. I gained 10 kilos in three months. That will, you know, really fuck up your self-esteem. Oh shit, I forgot to put on highlighter. Good thing I didn't powder that. So for liquid highlighter, I have been loving this one from Frank Body. It's just called Illuminator, I guess. And I just use my fingers to put that on. Now I forgot what I was talking about. But yeah, I'm really ex- Oh yeah, so I gained, um you know, the pill. And not only did it make me gain 10 kilos in three months, <laughs> but um, I broke out so badly. Like if you guys remember when I was using my Sony A5100 to film, it had a skin smoothing filter like in the camera. I would always use that because I was so embarrassed about how bad my skin was. Um, the bar just like did bad things for me, but it took me eight months to get it out. I had it in for eight months, even after I'd gained all of the weight. I just kept gaining weight because my friend told me that when you get it out, like all the periods you missed, you get them all at once and you just have to go and sit on the toilet for like two hours, just bleeding. So I was like, holy fuck, like I'm not about to get this thing out. And I was like, you know what? Frick it. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to get it out anyway. That doesn't happen. That does not happen. You do not get all of your period. Like, I don't. <laughs> so I just like kept gaining weight for nothing. And then, you know, gaining weight is the easy part. It's losing weight that's hard. Mate, I swear every single video that I film, I can't find something and it's always going to be right in front of me. But I can't. Cannot see it. What the frick? Where the shit is it? Oh, it's right there. Lol. Classic. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so for my contour, I'm going to be using the Natasha Denona Contour Sculpting Powder. I also absolutely do not plan on doing F45 while I'm getting fit because I went to the one in Labrador. Absolute scam artist there. Worst decision of my life. Was such a hassle. I don't know if it's just the Labrador one, but now it's just like put a bad taste in my mouth. So I like don't want to sign up at F45 again just in case the same thing happens. But I mean, if you're ever thinking about signing up at F45 Labrador, save your time is all I'm saying. Also, look at this. I've been growing out my nails. You see how much growth that is. Oh, oh my goodness. This contour powder is like the best thing that ever happened to me because it actually... Can you? Oh, I hate brushes that shed. But, like, it actually makes me look like I have cheekbones. Like, real cheekbones, not, not like fake cheekbones, you know. Look at that, so skinny. I don't even need to go to the gym, right? I've got contour. For bronzer, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier F45 
every video. I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder. This is the shade Bronze 02. Bronzer brush. Oh my god. Like, what is actually wrong with me? I'm not sure. So now I'm going to go in with some banana powder, of course. So things have just been like really weird for me lately. I don't know what it is. Like just things keep going wrong. I'm kind of not bothered. <laughs> so, um, so my car, somebody drove past it, scraped the back, like where the wheel is and didn't leave a note. Somebody keyed my side door. I mean, like, I don't understand who just keys someone's car. Who just keys someone's car? Like, that is so dog. That's annoying, and I can't be bothered getting it fixed. Because... So I'm kind of just like letting it sit there and hoping hoping my car doesn't get rusty. So um, for blush, I'm using the Natasha Denona Blush Duo Palette. This is number eight. I use this darker side here. It is incredible. It's so glowy. And the color is beautiful. Yeah, and then the other day I was on the highway. <gasps> it's just, I feel like this car is like... I feel like it's a bad luck charm or something, like, honestly, I don't know what's going on, like, I need to get off the road or, but I was driving on the highway, there was a truck, like, in front of me, but to the right, like, in the right lane, and two rocks flew out of this truck, smashed my windscreen, I mean, the whole windscreen isn't smashed, they're only, like, you know, two little, little, like, cracks like that. I've only had this car six months mind you and bad things are just happening. I also um bought a new vlogging camera because I thought that I lost mine and I wanted to like I wanted to vlog when I was in Melbourne because Kerry and I went to Melbourne together and I wanted to vlog that but I just wasn't feeling vlogging on my phone and we went to Byron Bay as well I wanted to vlog that too and I just I really hate vlogging on my phone so I bought a new vlogging camera you won't believe it. The day after I bought a new vlogging camera, I found my old vlogging camera, but guess where the hell it was? It was in my makeup drawers that are sitting right behind me. The thing that I look into all the time. Highlighter, oh highlighter, where are you? Duh, highlighter. Duh, my highlighter, where is my highlighter? It's right. Here. There's two different highlighters that I always switch between so I have been loving Having like a pink highlight lately. So this is the Kat Von D Alchemist palette. I use it all the time this shade right here called opal so it has pink reflex and I seriously oh, it's So pretty <clears throat> I seriously use that all the time as well as um, these are the two highlighters that I just constantly use. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Illuminator. I think today I'm going to go with this one because this is the one I lean for most of the time. I just love the look of the pink highlighter. I mean, are you kidding me? A little bit in the inner corner of my eye. And then I'm just gonna, <clears throat> I don't know what's up with my voice lately. I'm just gonna pop a really little amount of this bronzer into my crease. It's really like just that amount. I'm sorry if the lighting keeps changing. I'm using um, natural light at the moment because, I mean, if you follow me on Instagram stories or Snapchat, you probably know, but like the luck has just been really bad for me lately. So I broke all three of my lines. <laughs> within like two weeks. So I'm now just gonna take my Soft Glam palette. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I just wanna use this black right here. You can just use like your eyeliner that you're gonna use. Cause I'm gonna use a black eyeliner in my waterline and to tightline my eyes. And you can literally just use that. But I just find using a black eyeshadow is easier. And it helps you like really get 
right into the lash line there. I'm so glad it's going into winter. Oh my goodness. Like I actually cannot stand hot weather. Thanks dad, I sweat like a pig. Got it from my dad. <laughs> I'm just using a little brush to kind of blend that a little bit. So I'm just using this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. So this is in the shade Black Bean and I'm gonna use this to tight line my eyes. I'm also gonna put it in my waterline. And because this is so big, when I do my waterline, I just, <coughs> I don't wanna use my finger so I just grab a brush pull my eye down. I know it's so bad to do this, but like I don't have any other eye pencils right now because they're all blunt and I don't have a sharpener. Oh wait, definitely want to do your before your mascara. Carrie and I are trying to figure out where we should take our next trip. What do you guys think? There's so many places we want to go. Kara really wants to go to Japan. And this is the Hourglass Film Noir Mascara. I am totally obsessed with this mascara. I feel like everything Hourglass puts out is just amazing. Like the products are amazing, but also they feel so luxurious. I am first going to go in with the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Bow and Arrow. I hate liquid lipsticks. <laughs> Um, so I always have to put a lip gloss on top. Oh, I'm getting a call. I bet this is about my couch. Hello, Bella speaking. Half an hour till my couch is here. I have been waiting three months for this couch. That crow would like to stop interrupting me. That would be just incredible, just divine. So I always do the same base makeup, but I always change. Look at this. I've just put it on and look how dry I am already. It's ridiculous. I always change up the lip color I do. A lot of the time I'll just wear lip balm. And then over top of that, I'm gonna use the Dainty Lip Gloss. This one is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the color combo I've been loving lately. So pretty! And then just to finish it all off, I like to use my Urban Decay All Nighter Pollution Protection I like the cover effects one to kind of melt everything together and make everything a little bit uh, more natural, more dewy, but I like this one to keep my makeup on all day. So that brings us to the end of today's video. I'm going to leave it at that. No false lashes or anything because this is kind of my everyday go-to makeup look and I don't wear false lashes on a day-to-day -day basis. I feel like this looks more natural even though it's really not it's pretty much the same except I don't have eye makeup and I don't have false lashes so it looks more natural and I feel more natural you know what I mean but I really hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you guys in my next video bye love you guys so much Mwah.